20 years after Mother May I Sleep With Danger became an instant cult classic, Lifetime is bringing it back with Tori Spelling and James Franco executive producing and starring. We're chatting with the two of them tonight on the red carpet at the New York premiere, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. All right, James Franco, you're always the busiest man in Hollywood. What made you want to remake Mother May I Sleep With Danger? The project was brought to me by uh, Lifetime, and they had had a great experience working with Will Ferrell and Kristen Wiig on Deadly Adoption. And so they wanted to do something similar. And I guess, for whatever reason, um, I was the first name that came to mind. And uh, so they they emailed me, they got my email, and emailed me, and asked if I wanted to remake one of their most famous movies, Mother May I Sleep With Danger, that had originally starred Tori Spelling and at the height of her 90210 fame. And I watched it and, and thought, oh, this is really interesting. Um, I like the structure of it. There's certain things in there I, I really like. But if I did it, I'd love to revamp it. So I didn't tell Lifetime how I wanted to revamp it. Um, but I just went straight to script. I, I outlined it. I gave it to uh, Amber Coney, uh, someone I had known from uh, USC. She wrote a draft really fast, and we handed it in the Lifetime and said, "So basically, this is what we want to do—a lesbian vampire movie <laughs> with the structure of Mother May I Sleep with Danger." And they were like, "Yes, we love it. Like, basically, that's why we asked you, <laughs> so we could have, a, you know, something like this." Bringing back Mother May I, this must have been fun. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. It's been 20 years. I uh, can't get away from that number, but um, yeah, it was so great. I always wanted to remake this movie, you know, when they started doing the reboots, and I was like, oh my god, if any of my TV movies, it has to be Mother May I Sleep at Danger, and um, obviously I love working with Lifetime. When I got the call that it was Lifetime, and then with James, I was like, this is awesome, yeah. <laughs> When you get to get involved with James, he's a renaissance man of Hollywood right now. That guy has more projects going on than anybody. What's he like? He's a genius. <laughs> he's actually, he's so funny, but he's very quiet and thoughtful on set and very driven. And he has a vision. He knows exactly what he wants. And, um, yeah, he's amazing. So what a fun project to get involved with, right? Talk yes. to me about remaking Mother May I. So fun. I mean, the original Mother May I Sleep With Danger was so great with Tori Spelling and Ivan Sergei and then being able to bring them back and being able to work with James Franco to do a lesbian vampire movie. <laughs> I mean, how fun is that? When you get to remake a cult classic like this, how do you make it different? Well, you need vampires. <laughs> you need a lot of blood, more than the original. And uh, you need lesbians, Perfect. you know, and then uh, Tori Spelling played the mom, so we were able to pay homage to a lot of the original scenes and stuff from the original movie. James called me and he was like, I'm doing a remake, I'm doing a lesbian vampire film, so I was so on board. I wrote the script in four days, edited it on the fifth day, sent it to the network and they loved it, and that kind of, you know, snowballed everything from there. And I met the amazing actors and was able to be in the project as well as an actor, which was incredible to be on board in both capacities and so fulfilling to me as an artist. So overall, you know, filming it was incredible and actually seeing it manifested in the way that I imagined when I was writing it was absolutely extraordinary.